Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So now we are going to solve another question for this Python programming language. Right now my question says to me, but write out a Python program which accepts the user first and the last name and print them in reverse order with the space between them. Right? Now this is my question that is actually asked to me. Right? Now, just to stop out this video here, only just pause this video and think from your side that what formula or what way or what are the things that you can apply, what are the ways you can write out this program, what are the things you can apply, what is the logic behind writing out this program. Just stop this video here, think from yourself. After that, I would be letting you know that how to do, but the way that it is more productive when you just think out yourself, first of all, then match that is your answer correct from my thinking as well right to so stop out this video here only right so basically i hope that till this point you have actually thought out that what should be the logic behind this program and basically what should be the whole idea while writing out this program okay now again read out this question that my question says to me that write out a program python program which accepts the user's first and last name okay okay so i need to write out a program uh, in which I need to take the input from the user as a first name and as a last name of that user. Okay, then I need to print them in reverse order. Okay, I need to print in the way that first of all first name is uh, first name and last name I have taken. Now I want to print it, print it in a way that last name should come first and first name should go at the place of last. So let's say my name is Shambhavi Gupta. So the output that should come is Gupta and then Shambhavi. In this way, my output should be should be come. Okay, and in the between, in the space, in the between, I just want a space as well. Right, a very, very, very simple program, right? Now, basically, some of you must be thinking that this is a very tough program. What will I do? How will I apply the condition? How will I reverse that? But when you are just going to see this output, that you will be seeing that, okay, this is a very simple program. There are two ways for writing out this program. First one is basically giving out the... Um, Okay, first one is basically uh, simply using the variables and second one is converting that into the functions. Let me define both of these here as well. Okay, fine. Um, okay, let me take out a variable first of all that is first underscore name. Okay, first underscore name. Right, I need to take the input from the user in the string format. Right, because here we are taking the strings. The names are in the string, right? Name contains a characters and that is a string. So I need to take out the input from the user in the string format. So for that, what I would just do is that I would simply use your input. No data type I would be putting in the starting because we all know that if we do not put a particular data type, then basically the final, uh, the, uh, the answer which we, with the, sorry, the user, the input that will be taken from the user, that will be in the format of the string only. So in that case, I haven't put anything here, okay? Now, inside the bracket, I'll be putting here input. So, okay. Into the, let's say I would be just writing into the first name. Okay, into the first name. Fine. Now, I want the last name to appear as well. So, last underscore and I would just take here name. Okay, last name is equal to, I would write here. Okay, I would write here in input. And into the bracket, I'll be writing here. Into the, la, into the last name. Right, this is the sentence which I actually wanted to be printed here. First one is enter the first name and second one is enter the last name. Right now, how do I need to print them? If I just write here, I need to print them in the reverse order, right? I need to print them that first of all Gupta should come and then Shambhavi should come. My real name is Shambhavi Gupta. So I just need to reverse that out. So what is simple simple trick that I can apply here? I can simply, okay, just one second. I could simply write out a print the statement here. First of all, what uh, what value it, I just wanted to print it. I want to print it last name, right? I would just write last name in the starting, okay? Then, what I need, want to print it? I want to get a space. Put out the bracket, put out this and give it a space, okay? Then I, what I just want to print? I want to print the first name. So, I would just write here first underscore name. And yes, that's the logic which you can actually use. It was pretty simple. The only thing is that you need to put out your brain, you need to put out your mind here that what you can actually do for this question. It's not that for each and everything you have some user defined functions that will come, you'll put out that function and be getting the answer. No, it's not the case. In some cases, you need to use your brain out. You need to just give a little bit focus on your brain, you need to apply your brain that how I can just do out this particular question. Let me run it out here. So here we go with the running of the program. 
Okay, it's asking me to enter the first name. Let's say I enter my name that is uh, Shambhavi. If they ask me to enter the last name, let's say I enter Gupta. What I'm getting answer as on here? I'm getting the answer that is Gupta space Shambhavi. Right, so that I'm just giving getting because first I have to enter the last name and then I had to enter the first name. It's so simple to reverse this out. And now if you are just trying to apply the string slicing and any string function here or any for loop and something like that, right? If you are doing that, then you'll not be getting the answer. Well, it's that much simple, which you can just write simply out here. Fine. Let me close this out here. Ex let me explain you how you can just use this inside the function as well. Let me let you know because this is actually passing the two parameters. Let me just explain you that thing as well. Def and let's say the name for my function that I'll be making is uh, name underscore reverse. Okay. I'll be passing two parameters here. That is first underscore name. Okay, that is name comma uh, last underscore name uh, N A M E. Okay, this is how we just pass two parameters. Let me write this as well here. Inside this, inside my print statement, I would simply write the same thing which I have write written last time. So that was last underscore name plus I put out the inverted commas, give some space here, put out the plus sign, and I would just write here last name plus, and here we go with the first name. Okay come out here i'll be defining the first name and the last name variables and taking the input from the user that is first underscore name is equal to i'll be writing here input and into the bracket i'll be writing that enter okay i'll be writing enter the into the first name right let me come down um right here into the first name i'll be taking here last underscore last underscore Okay, just one second. Last underscore name. That would be actually that input, input, and into the bracket it would be enter the last name. Right? This is done. And simply I need to call out my function that is name underscore rules and pass out the parameters here that as um, right. Okay. Let me quickly run this out here as well. It is asking me to enter the first name. Let's say I enter my first name as uh, Shambhavi. Last name, let's say my last name is Gupta and hit enter. Okay, positional arguments. Okay, okay, just one second. Let me pass on the parameters here as well. So that is first underscore name, comma, last underscore name. Right, and I would just now run this once again as well. Okay, let me increase the size. Enter the first name. Let's say that is Shambhavi. La last name is, let's say, Gupta. Fine, now just have a look at what output I'm getting. I'm getting Gupta Shambhavi, the same as we had got it previously. Right, so this is the way how you can just use this program, how you can just use out and write out your name in the reverse order. First one was simply declaring the variables and putting the values onto that from the user input. And second name, second name was to define a function and passing on the par parameter inside that function and then calling out the function with both of the parameters. Right. So I hope that you go, have got a clear and a fair idea that how to attempt these types of questions. It's not always that you are going to apply some very hard technique. No, some programs are the ones which seems to be like very tough in the question. But the procedure for them, if you just think out with your proper brain, if you just put out a proper mind there, then you can just find out that this question was super, super, super easy. Right. Okay. So this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and take care.